Hi guys, Ollie and Cam here. We've got our next finger style month weekly challenge video for you. This time we are going, we're still in dad gad tuning, like we have been for the last three weeks, three weeks? Something like that, two weeks. All the guitars in here are now dad gad. One of the ideas of finger style is sort of self accompaniment and Cam and I both love tapping on an electric guitar. Yeah. And so we thought there, there is sort of a style on acoustic guitar that in, involves right hand tapping as well. And we just thought, how hard can it be? Yeah, I've gone completely back on what I said in the introduction video, so there wouldn't be any of this. Well, but yeah. now just like... That's when I was off, so yeah. I came back and I said, there has to be tapping, there has to be tapping. in every video. But it turns out it is quite hard, so... Yes, uh, but the tapping that we'll be doing is slightly different from the, the usual two-handed tapping on electric. The best tapping, mate. Um, and Ollie will, Ollie will give you a brief demonstration and explanation into what we'll be going into. So what we're going to work on is something that uses your left hand to play a higher melody sort of part and then your right hand is going to be hitting the low notes so the bass notes um chords or just low notes and we're going to try and put them together cam's got the high part and yes. i've got the low part and we're going to learn them and then we'll put them together at the end hopefully with the hands sort of working independently and we'll see how we get on yes the idea here is going to have the um the left hand doing using hammer hammer-ons and pull-offs to, do to like get that. something going so we don't yeah, need our right hand to, str to strum the strings. Yeah, like a melody. And then our right hand is then freed up to start uh, doing tapping on the, um, on the low strings to get, um, to get the, the bass note stuff in. So I'm going to be going through the left hand part as I don't really do much of the um, the tapping with the right hand, so we've left that to Ollie because he knows how to do it better. Um, and you know, really, this is no different to how you do it on electric. Um, it can be a bit easier because we've got the slacker strings for um, our string there, so you can sort of pull off and hammer on quite nice and easily. Uh, but I'll just really go through it quite quite quickly. If you guys can just show you the fingers and the frets you might want to use for this one. Um, so we're going to be just hammering and pulling off of the fourth fret and the second fret on the high E string, which is now a D string. Um, in 16th notes. So the one I'll be using would be four uh, for my third finger there, fourth fret on the high E string. I just hammer up and pull that off. And then I get my first finger, I'm gonna go hammer onto the second fret there, and I'm just gonna pull off. And that's it, those, those are the four notes, and we'll do those four notes four times to make up the 16. So it'll be two, three, four, one, two, we go and that's it that's the whole of that one there i'll do it a bit up to be for you that was it nice and simple there not much else going on there is bang on isn't it yeah make it look easy easy peasy breezy <laughs> um all right and so it's, it's kind of following that pattern you can obviously take this and do whatever crazy stuff you want to do with it but we thought we'd just do it a nice you know accessible um for everyone rather than doing some crazy tapping like Van Halen. Not that he did anything like this. Um, all right, and then so next time, we're gonna be going up now to the fourth and the fifth fret. Again, picking the higher fret first, and it's gonna be five, open, four, open. And for this, I'm using just my first two fingers here. So, so my second finger for the fifth fret, first finger for the fourth fret, and same amount of times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Voila, and then, we go up again, and this time we're going to be on the seventh fret and the fifth fret. I'm using you can use your second finger or your third finger here for the seventh fret, and then I'm using that first finger for the fifth fret again. And just to go through that again, slowly for you, it's just seven, big open, five open, and so that'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then after that we go back to the the fifth and the fourth fret. We do that for the same amount of time the second time, and that completes the whole progression. So once through all of that will be this without any of the lovely bass notes to give it a bit more context. So. That's it, and that's all we're at. And we just loop that. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely done. Uh, and my hand was <laughs> moving quite a bit there, wiggling around. Um, it doesn't have to be, you can be a bit more precise with it, and I'm sure Ollie will be. 
Uh, but I like a good pull off there. All right, and there we go. That is the left hand part. And now Ollie's going to take you through the right hand part. Yeah. So the bit that Cam did was the techniques are still the same as normal for left hand left hand guitar playing, isn't it? Mm. But this is going to be quite different because obviously we're used to using our right hand for strumming or picking. Uh, so instead, we're going to do tapping. Um, and for this, I'm just going to use my index finger. So I'm not going to go too mad, just index finger. And I'm just going to be hitting the low notes. So um, <clears throat> what we're going for are fifth fret, all on the low D string here because we're in dab jazz. Fifth fret, seventh fret, fourth fret, fifth fret. So that's our little progression there. So if I strum it normally, So that's what we're going for, but we're not going to be fretting with the left and picking with the right. We're going to do it all with the right. So the, the idea is the same as, as a left hand hammer on. You need to come at the string hard and sort of tap it down with the tip of your finger here and try and get it sort of up near where the fret is. You're less likely to get buzz that way. Like if you tap that side, you get buzz. So, and you just got to do it quite hard. Um, one thing I, I like to do is sort of visualize my hand going beyond the string, sort of into the fretboard. It just means you're not stopping too soon. And you get a nice clear note there. And I think I'm going to be using, I'll probably be using my thumb to sort of at least line me up a little bit. Or, and normally I would use these other fingers as you can see. But the idea later on is that we're going to keep these strings open so that we can play them with the left hand. So you have to keep these away from the strings. So I'm just using my thumb on the back of the neck there just to keep myself in position. As I practice it more and gets more comfortable, I can take that away. But I'm trying to do as little movement as I can and still get these notes to ring out. Okay, so that's that. Once you've got it with the single notes, you might want to try power chords as well. Because we're in dad gad tuning, these two strings together, if you play them on the same fret, this gives you root and fifth, so you get your power chord, just like you would in drop D tuning. Um, and now if you're going to do that, still, I would still do that with one finger, but you're going to have to use sort of the, uh, the flat of your finger, like the fingerprint part, but maybe around the side, just as you would with a left hand bar chord, you want to be rolled back slightly that's where it's harder. Same thing here. But I would uh, start off just with the single notes. Cool. All right. There you go. I was just thinking actually, um, how about I do the just the left hand part on my guitar? Yeah. And you do just the right hand part. And then they can hear how it sounds. And you guys can hear yeah, that was how so it nice. sounds on two guitars and then like power rangers will morph them together into <laughs> one guitar part. All right, let's try and do this. Zero okay. rehearsal. All right, you come in. Um, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Jazz. Perfect ending. <laughs> I just realised we could do it on the same guitar, couldn't we? I could do my right I'm hand. I'm not even hand. needed. Well, do you, wanna, you, you could... could do left hand on one on the guitar, and I could do right hand on the same guitar. Huh? And so the point of this is now that we can morph together, and it'll become one <laughs> guitar part. So now that Cam and I are fused together, I'm going to be using my right hand and his left hand, and we're going to try and put it all together. So um, <clears throat> I'm just going to practice the uh, the left hand bit. So cool. So now I'm going to put them together. So I'm going to try and have my right hand not touching the high strings, like we talked about, and let's see how it goes. So. Right, 
I'm back now, so Ollie can't play the piece anymore. He's lost all left hand ability. Um, and I've got it all five hand in my right hand. Um, anyway, thank you for joining us this week for our little tapping ex escapade. Thank you. Um, but yeah, and if you wanted any tabs and a bit more of a detailed write up on how to do this, none of it's been too clear for you. Uh, you can find it all on the website and there'll be a description in the link below. You said description in the link below. Wait, which way does it work? Uh, you can click on the link in the description below, um, description below, uh, and you'll be able to get a nice little write up as well as tabs and little shapes of everything that we've gone through here today for you. So yeah, just head on down there if you'd like some more of those details. Click that like button and don't forget to uh, subscribe and comment as well as sharing with us how you got on uh, with this challenge. If you so choose to take it upon yourself like we have. Do you want to say anything, Ollie? <clears throat> um, thanks for watching.